What's up guys, how's it going? I hope you're having a great day so far. Uh, and today we're gonna get into a little bit of the travels that I did. I guess, wow, it's almost a month ago now, but hey, <laughs> filtering through the footage and stuff was not easy. Um, I had to put everything together. So here's episode one of me and my brother's trip back to Japan for a second time. Stick around, give this video a thumbs up and enjoy. Damn, that's hot. It's hot as Yeah. Shiza. Yep. Does that temple go like... Is this like a mini one? Yeah. There's like a huge one in Nagano. And this one is like it's twin temple. So like supposedly if you only go to one, you're unbalanced. But you're supposed to go to both. Mm. Have you been to both? They're gonna be unbalanced. unbalanced for the rest of the trip. Yes. <laughs> Dude, the potatoes are so loud. <laughs> Do it again. What? Do that noise again. <laughs> <laughs> Finally made it with my boy. That's a dope picture, man. That's when we got home. In the morning? The clouds? The cloud, the At like five in the morning. Brother tagged along this time too. It is hot though. Steamy. Yeah. Time to go in some hotter water. Yeah, and the fact that we're gonna hit up in a, we're actually gonna go into a hot spring as well. So, I don't know. I think it's just gonna be sweaty. Sweaty all around. As if there's Wi-Fi. <laughs> so, should we go inside or what? You wanna ring it? No. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Because there's people. Holy. Back to the love of trees. <laughs> They're freaking huge. And more climbing. <laughs> more climbing. This whole day is just like uphill walking. Yo. This is pretty majestic looking. Kind of like movie-esque. Mystical, majestical. Definitely won't be short on cardio right though. <laughs> In the gains. Lose some gains. Leg gains. Make some leg gains. That looks so nice. The path is so cool. I like the stickers, the talisman. Uh-huh. That's dope. It's like in Inuyasha, um, Moroku, he'd always like stick them. <laughs> Everywhere. Strip away the demons. Yeah, this path is like a big build-up. Holy, I'm liking, I'm digging this vibe. The pagoda is literally just up there, you can see it actually through the trees. 
right now. You see it? Oh yes, oh yes. You guys are all chefs. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Can't get over the like canopy. Beautiful, right? Yeah. You don't really see this at home. Maybe in BC. Yeah, you see these types of trees? No. Yeah. They're like so freaking tall. Maybe in like BC though. Yeah, BC has a shit ton. It's a little baby one. A little thin guy. A little, little baby pagoda. Oh, so you're talking about the trees? Yeah, the trees are thin too. Yeah, the pagoda is not super tall. The one we saw in Kyoto was fucking tall. Yeah, that one was the biggest one, right? Yeah. the only um, octagonal one, right? Octagonal, not hexagonal. Octagonal. That's lit. Slimy F. So yeah, the main attraction of this episode was by far the octagonal, yeah, I said it correctly, the octagonal pagoda. It's called the Anrakuji Temple. Yes, I kept this and brought it home. <laughs> but yeah, that was awesome seeing that there's only one of them in Japan and we got to go and see it. So that was really cool. Uh, really fortunate to be able to check that out. And it was awesome that it was really close to Phil's place. So yeah, that was the main attraction, and then afterwards we saw a couple things like these mini pagodas, like stone pagodas in the forest, and we just kind of kept wandering around the same area. Like how they're covered in moss? Yeah, that's cool, right? Gives a little, uh, little extra feng shui. Yeah, a little mystical. A little mystical. Damn. Oh, fuck. And stumbled upon this uh, big building this big temple building that had some cool curved wood that we were just kind of fascinated by because you don't see that every day in western culture at least so we took a little bit of time to admire that and then that was pretty much the extent of what i filmed for the day that's actually messed up they cut they carve it probably it's like a huge it's, like it's probably like, yeah, like yeah it's probably like, like a really massive big. massive tree like huge tree and they like carve it Shave it down to make it like like a snake. That's messed. That's a lot of work and a tick tree. <laughs> tick ass. Be cool, just like I'm assuming people used to live here back in the day. Have this nice view. Bro, not for me. Not for me. The humidity is killing you. Oh. No reprieve. <laughs> but then for the rest of the day, what we did was we had a cup. We had some good eats. Some good eats. Check this out right here. Um, one of them was like a tempura bowl with a nice udon soup and some pickled vegetables and stuff, which was fantastic. Actually, one of my favorite meals of the whole trip. Believe it or not, we then just chilled at home, had a little bit of a nap, and then went out at nighttime and had some chicken karage, which is obviously dope. Who doesn't like fried chicken? And we just walked around the like Phil's hometown area and uh, brought my brother Vince to this little uh, fortress that's around there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this first video. It was a little bit kind of 
mm, all over the place, but uh, stay tuned for the next one because in the next video we head on over to Tokyo and things are only getting started. So I hope to see you guys then and I'll see you very, very soon as always. Peace.